So our brains are made up of billions of neurons. But how do all these individual cells allow us to walk, talk, and think, sometimes all at the same time? Well, current research suggests that a key feature of our brains is actually how separate brain regions work together in networks in order to subserve our behavior. And we don't fully understand these networks yet, but we need to. Because they're thought to hold clues for treating things like Alzheimer's disease and schizophrenia. And they may also unlock next-gen advancements in the fields of AI or brain implants. So scientists are actively working to build tools to better understand these networks. But this is a really tough challenge. For one, brain recordings are really expensive and time consuming to make. Two, these networks tend to morph and evolve on split second time scales. And three, we rarely have direct access to the brain itself when making these recordings because people generally like to keep their skulls intact. So for all these reasons, scientists are trying to build models in order to create synthetic brain activity. Now, these models do exist today but they don't capture the full temporal complexity that's present in network activity. So there's a need to empower scientists with better models that can faithfully recreate these network dynamics. So we propose to bridge this gap with Generative Adversarial Networks, or GANs. And GANs are a deep learning framework that consists of two components kind of competing against each other. In our case, it will consist of a cortical model and a head model that will be used to create synthetic brain recordings. And the second component, the discriminator, looks at these synthetic recordings and actual brain activity and tries to discern which is real and which is fake. And through many rounds of training, we believe a GAN will be able to learn how to generate synthetic brain activity that contains the full richness and complexity of actual brain recordings. Now, we plan to take our project and release it as a general purpose tool to the neuroscience community so that hopefully anyone can use it to advance our collective understanding of the dynamic human brain.